I want to take a moment to speak about Itai Chen, my constituent, a fellow Brooklynite, and an American and Israeli citizen. I'm heartbroken by the news of Itai Chen's death, killed on October 7th at just 19 years old at the brutal hands of Hamas terrorists who cruelly still hold his remains. I first met Itai, Itai's family, Ruby, Hagit, their sons, in Israel just a few days after October 7th. I've spoken with them many times since. I've gotten to know them. In a little way, I got to know what Itai was like through hearing it through his father, his mother, and his brothers. Now, since he's been, Itai's father, Ruby, has been one of the leading fighters for the hostages' return. He's traveled to every corner of the world. He's met with some of the highest leaders in the world to say, bring them home now. I will work with the Chen family and others to get Itai. His father requested me, even though he's dead, as part of Jewish law, please get his body back. Please get his body back. I'm going to try to do everything I can to make that happen. They, they, they're not going to sit shiva and do the formal Jewish burial ceremony because they don't have the body. Um, they need to put him to rest in a way they desire and he deserves. And the Chen family, I just spoke to them on the phone about an hour ago. They're in Israel. They're going to keep fighting for the other hostages to be freed, which is a beautiful thing despite the horrible tragedy that is just descending upon them now that they know Itai is dead, they're still fighting for the other hostages. We are too. We are too. Senator Murray's done a great job on appropriations. Let me call on her.